Hey everybody, it's Taylor Thomas Smythe. Today I figured I've been recording my unboxing videos for the last several years uh, of creating self-published books, independently published books. Uh, I've used Lulu, I've used Ingram Spark, and I've used Amazon KDP, and I'd love to share more about those. I'm gonna do kind of a compilation of different unboxings just for posterity's sake, so I have them somewhere. Uh, but I will also show you in greater detail what some of these different options look like close up. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so I just got home from work and I received uh, in the mail package, which should in theory have the hardcover editions of Goldie in it, the final versions. Uh, so I can show you the cover. I am so, so, so excited about this. So here we go. Wow. This is exactly how I envisioned it. So beautiful. Um, seriously, wow. Uh, just incredibly beautiful. Here. Oh, wow. Um, this might be one of my favorites. This is the Place Beyond the Sea. You can see their new glossy dust jacket covers. Um, they've got a fun little version of that icon on the inside. Uh, wow. Really proud of that. Next we have, this is book five, which is The Curse of Coronado and Wow, it looks awesome. Very, very cool. We've got the little compass. Those are carried over from the other editions. Ooh, baby. The colors in this one is one of my favorite things. This sort of slight gradient. The Lamplight Society. The video is not going to do it justice. Um, but we have the little medallion. Um, the Lamplight logo is also there. Fountain of Youth. Yes, this also looks, I think, even better in person. Um, the little chalice also on that side. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Coral and the Treasure Hunters. This is one of my favorite updates from the old ones to the new. Um, this is the sixth book in the series. I love underneath the cover has this um, really vibrant red orange color that is a huge impact. And last but certainly not least, the book that started it all, The Golden Alligator, with that cool key uh, on the inside. Fun fact is that this key, um, I took um, Ali Waller's illustration and kind of laid it out. And then I took pieces of other keys and in Photoshop basically recreated a very realistic looking key, but in the exact shape and uh, format of Ali's key. So that was one of my, I'm really proud of that. It looks really cool. Um, we got our little uh, accolades on this one. Um, this was my award-winning book, which is really cool to be able to say. Wow, okay, let's look at them all lined up. Ready for it. Ta-da! The Kingdom of Florida series, the Lamplight Universe, hardcover editions. 
Um, these covers are also on the paperback versions, which you can get um, either version on kingdomofflorida.com uh, through Amazon. Uh, very excited about these. first one I picked out last time too. This is book three. The glossy really makes a difference. Wow. Um, a couple of them printed with the old covers, so this apparently didn't get updated fast enough. Oh, book one. These really look so, so good. Love them. I'll come and give you a closer look. Uh, these two did not uh, print properly. Uh, I updated the covers, must have not been all updated in the system when I did that, but book one, The Golden Alligator. Book two, The Lamplight Society. Book three, The Place Beyond the Sea. Uh, book four, and did, I did not get the new cover yet. Book five, The Curse of Coronado. Book six, Coral and Treasure Hunters. And book seven, also did not get the new cover treatment yet, so I'll have to reorder those and uh, get those fixed. But if you order them now, they should be correct. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. Hello, readers. Uh, I feel like I'm on a cooking show doing this in my new kitchen. Um, I am doing the unboxing for Kingdom of Florida, volume two. Peek. Ooh. Oh wow. This is beautiful. This is, yeah, look at that. So thick. It is, I think, a little bit thicker than volume one because um, each book gets successively longer and the final book, the seventh book, is almost twice as long as the first book. So that's why there's only three books, but it's thicker than the one with the four books. Uh, oh, my favorite part is that inside of this, let's check it out. Oh, that looks so good. It has um, the dust jacket, or the, no, sorry, the interior jacket. This the Regal Stag, volume two. So nice. And then this spine is designed to look kind of like a modernized version of, you know, the gold, like foiled spines. Flip through a page real quick. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there's a big one. An illustration. Illustration. Um, this has books five and seven, so that has illustrations by Ali Waller for book five. Samantha Pollock. Uh, illustrated book six, which is Coral and Treasure Hunters that just came out a few months ago. And then for book seven, Guardians of the Willow, um, I am actually illustrated for it. So there's only a few a little sketchy illustrations in there, but hope you enjoy. Okay, this has been Kingdom of Florida Volume 2. Uh, this is going to be available very soon. Okay, so I'm doing the unboxing for my seventh and final book in the Kingdom of Florida series. <clears throat> I've done an unboxing, unpackaging video for all the other ones, so this is the first time I'm seeing the final finished book. This is my last book in the series. I've been working on this series for three years, more than three years, so this is really exciting for me. And I hope it is for you too. So this is book seven. Looks amazing. Look how thick it is. Book seven. Book seven. This is nice, it's packaged in a box, like cardboard. It's not always like this. Sometimes they package it poorly, but this is, they've been doing good lately.
Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Check that out. Hardcover. This is a dust jacket hardcover, mind you. It's got the special edition. It's got the red underneath. Coral and the Treasure Hunters. Smythe in there. You can see it. And uh, I have done these versions for all of the books so far. They're so nice. Um, you know, it's just like the other ones. Same book inside, except it's bigger. This is six by nine. And that means the illustrations are bigger too. One little bit bigger. Um, it's just like beautiful, nice. Fair display. This is a it's like a kind of satin finish. This is their matte finish, but it's like a little bit kind of shinier, glossier, but not quite glossy glossy than the Amazon paperback versions. Set up the paperback edition. That's fine. Clicks. Uh, it's the longest of the series so far. It continues the color gradient set by the earlier books. Um, see, it's a little bit thicker than the first book there. They get just a few a few pages thicker each time. First we have the proof. <laughs> Feels great. This, it looks so much like my paperback. It's almost hard to tell. Um, yeah, so it feels great. Um, you can see, you know, it's got a nice feel to it. Pages look great. It's the cream colored pages, so I ordered because that's a little bit easier on your eyes. In the shipping, there's like this kind of mark here. You can probably not really even see it. It's like barely visible. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Um, but this is like a very sturdy book. It feels very professional quality. You know, you get a barcode on the back. Yeah, so let's look at the, that's the proof copy. And then the real copy that someone would get if they ordered it today is right here, which looks exactly the same. This one doesn't have that mark, which is nice. Um, these are the matte finish cover, so you can get glossy, which would be a little shinier cover. Um, but matte is what I use for this series, just because it kind of looks better with this sort of um, like watercolory design that I have on the back. I don't notice any difference in color or print quality. Really, the only difference is the stripe across the thing. So, um, yeah, I would give it thumbs up, uh, maybe two. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful to see it in real life. So crazy. I'm gonna comb through it and make sure it looks all right. Beautiful illustration by Ali. Coming soon. Ooh, oh, wow. That looks really nice. Wow. Wow, look at the spine. It's so thick, it's great. Oh, it looks beautiful. so beautiful. It's just crazy to see it done. Here's a up close and personal look at it. Um, the Golden Alligator is available now on Amazon.com. Is this like an actual video or a it's short? It's just an actual video. You okay, can great. Has it gone? Yeah. Okay, this is the proof to my first novel, which is called Golden alligator from the Florida. All right. Oh my gosh. It's real. Wow. 
<laughs> it looks not so good. good. I know. It's just the proof. Oh, it's just the proof. Oh, look at that spine and everything. Mm, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, look it looks so bird. good. It's an actual bird. bird. Ellie! Oh, me! No, just kidding. <laughs> Coming soon. In a couple days. Um, all right, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about these, I'm happy to answer in the comments. If you find videos like this helpful, please subscribe. It helps me when I know that people are enjoying these videos and finding value in them. Just a shameless plug for my next book, which is called The Dream Team, part of the Magic City Wonders series. It's the second book in the series. These books are set in the 1980s and they follow a group of people who have superhuman abilities. Um, think of it like Miami Vice meets Marvel. It's really fun and colorful and kind of has this sci-fi twist to it. So uh, I really have loved writing these stories. There's a couple more books coming in the series, um, but book two is arriving this year. And depending on when you're watching this video, it may be available already. You can learn more at magiccitywonders.com and I'll put a link in the description of this video. Happy creating everyone.